Gladness Kalega. Gladness Katiga supports women who face trials in life to learn how to overcome challenges and rise from pain to purpose. Gladness has served women internationally, providing business coaching services and personal development support. She empowers women to follow their dreams and passions, despite challenges that life may throw at them, and discover their purpose. Gladness is a business consultant for over 10 years with a passion for entrepreneurship development in Africa. Gladness provides coaching and mentoring services in business development for entrepreneurs worldwide. Gladness lives a purposeful life for supporting women to unleash their queen identity through her courses, coaching, mentoring, workshops, and events. Hi, it's Gladness here. Thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my space. So I wanna ask, first of all, if this is your first time, just hit the subscribe button so that you can get notifications of every single time I have a brand new video. And most of all, hit the like, comment. If you absolutely love and enjoy everything that I say, then let me know. And share it share it with a friend share it with somebody that will benefit from hearing this amazing information that i'm gonna share with you today so today i really just want to tackle an issue right i want to tackle the issue of why is self-identity affecting you in your relationships why do you repeat uh, why do you keep repeating the same cycle of toxic relationships because you lack self-identity? So this is what I'm going to explain to you in this video. See, I know what it's like to be in a toxic relationship. I also know what it's like to repeat those toxic relationships. So this could be a love relationship, but this could also be in friendships where day in, day out, the people in your life do not value you, do not appreciate you, and really just treat you less than what you deserve, right? And this is why this happens to you because you are lacking your worth, you're lacking self-value. You don't know that you are a queen, right? For ladies, you don't know that you are a valuable woman, so you haven't set standards in your life that allow people to treat you the way you deserve and the way you want to be treated, right? So the problems are a couple of things, right? First and foremost is you lack knowledge of yourself, right? You lack knowledge of yourself. I know that sounds strange, but let me break it down for you. So you don't know who you are, right? You haven't spent time with yourself to know your wants, your desires, right? To know what is good for you, to know what is not good for you. You haven't set any standards as to how you want your relationships to be. This is why constantly you get into different relationships that do not work for you because you simply just haven't understood what relationships would benefit you, right? The other thing is the reason why you lack self-identity and you attract the wrong relationships could be your past trauma. A past trauma that has dealt with your mind in a way that you don't feel that you are worthy, right? You are not worthy of a better relationship. So you stick around with people that mistreat you, people that don't value you because you are even scared that how would I get anything better? right that is a serious thing because i have been there right if you followed me for a while you would know about my story how i left an abusive toxic relationship with a narcissist because i literally just lacked my own identity which is what attracts this narcissist in the first place it's like do they know <laughs> Do they go for training to kind of know the woman that don't value themselves? Why I say this is because of anybody that values themselves and has set standards for their lives will not put up with abuse. Let's say how it is, would not put up with abuse, would know and understand the moment they're being mistreated to walk out that door, right? I'm not talking about mistakes, right? I'm talking about habits, right? Toxic habits 
repeat after repeat behavior of uh, negativity towards your, your being, right? Any relationships that has you feeling low, right? Has you feeling like you are not worth anything? Has you feeling like you are not capable? Relationships should make you feel happy, right? Relationships should lift you up. There should always be growth in relationships. So if you find yourself in this situation that all the people around you, right, don't value you, or most people around you are just there to gain something, right? Um, this is for you. So the other reason why you may lack self-identity, right? You may lack self-identity is this culture, right? There is no culture, especially in the African community, there is no culture for personal development. No culture whatsoever. Nobody teaches you, right? You grow up knowing that you have to go to primary school, secondary school at minimum, college, <laughs> university, right? For those strict African parents, you have to at least get a master's, but you go through life living based on uh, what you are being told you must do. And it's so structured in your upbringing, in your culture, in your family, but nobody actually gives you information or gives you the opportunity to get to know who you really are right there's no self-development you hear about this stuff but it's it's such a um uh, a strange thing it's not a norm right in your default mindset it's not something that is needed and you don't understand why it's needed but all that happens is that you continuously are in bad relationships right it's like you're dating the same person with different name right every single person that comes into your life is toxic because you haven't understood your self-worth you haven't understood your values you haven't set any standards right you need to have some non-negotiables you need to know that okay if this happens like this is the bare minimum that i would take nobody should take any sort of abuse absolutely or bad or bad uh, treatment but you have to have certain things that will signal you when somebody starts treating you a certain way you start realizing that no this is this is not working for me right and just really have the confidence and courage to speak up so you know this is just a short quick video that i felt to share with you today but i certainly will do more videos so i encourage you to subscribe subscribe so that you can get notifications because i will actually start using my youtube channel a lot more now and really just get as much information to you about personal self-development how to um, identify your worth self-care self-love and that kind of work because i am a purpose and passion coach and my job my work my calling here on earth is to support you discover your full potential so if you want more information about what i talked about because like i said i have been on this journey right i took this uh, this lesson right this self-development lesson i took this for a whole year just to understand who i am because when i did finally manage to leave that toxic relationship I wasn't looking to blame, right? I wasn't pointing fingers at him. I wanted to understand how could this happen to me, right? How could this happen to me? So what I did is I wrote a book. It's called Queen Unleashed, Rising from Pain to Purpose. It's a real life transformational story and blueprint of how you could overcome life's challenges and rediscover yourself. So I encourage you to get this because I share the how, how to uh, come out of this um, default mindset, how to really get to know who you are, how to unleash that queen inside of you. So I encourage you to get the book, it's on Amazon, so you can get it for delivered, you know, UK, US, all across the world. And most importantly, stay tuned on this channel because I am going to be bringing you lots and lots and lots of more amazing content. So hit the subscribe button, 
put the notification as well so that you can get an update uh, or an alert rather every single time that I have new content for you. So that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye and God bless.